Yes, sir. <laughs> we are back. Yo, at yo. the Shits Podcast. Where we are either shooting the shit, starting some shit, or picking up where we left the shit off at. God yeah. damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yo, I'm your host, Monsoon's the Raw, the coolest cat you heard thus far. Man, listen, like like I'm Bubba one. Ball, one of the dreads you can't catch at the mall. Sometimes it's the summer, my birthday month, so you know. You, you might catch a nigga in there, buying some <laughs> socks and shit, you know. <laughs> and we got a very special guest to the podcast this Mac week. Mega, <laughs> shank, that's my slime, we drink, we eat peanut butter and jelly all the time. <laughs> There we go. Yes, yes, yes. I, Yo. I, I, I didn't get my ride, man. I didn't get my Yo. That's what's up. That's what's up. Ladies and gentlemen, Mac Mecca, the track wrecker. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. Hey, man, thank you for coming on to the show, bro. Man, humble, humble, humble. Yes, yes. Humble, humble. Yo, I got to give a shout out to, man, some motherfuckers that really been fucking with us, man. Yo. Shout out to the Chicago Clubhouse Sports Podcast. For sure. Um, shout out to the Block 105 Radio, www.theblock105.com. And like I tell y'all every week, because I need y'all to pay attention, y'all hit up the website, www.theshitspodcast.com. T H E S H I T T S P O D C A S T dot com. Shitspodcast.com. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Man, thank you once again, bro, for coming through, man. Yeah. And on the podcast that we like to do, man, we like to do a check in with our guests and our, and you know what I'm saying. So, how was your week, bro? <laughs> up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Up and down. <laughs> that, that's that's a pretty that, that's a damn good week right there. That's yeah. a damn, up and down, up and down. Everything was good though. Man, it's like we're gonna make it good. You know what I'm saying? I ain't claiming no bullshit mm-hmm. 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 because you know, like that ain't like you see, you see, I be on bullshit. Everyone, yeah, the tattoo I had, like yeah. I be on bullshit, but I don't be on bullshit anymore. And, right, uh, right. <laughs> and that's what I'm about: positive, good vibes. Yeah, mm-hmm. and um. And that's why I'm not claiming anything bad. You know what I'm saying? I'm not claiming that's anything good. bad. That's good, yeah. man. That's good, man. That's what's up. You got to speak that shit into existence, and shout bro. shout out my nigga. Come on, I'm sorry. No, no, go, 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 go ahead, go ahead. Shout out my motherfucking nigga Decca because, like, you know, I had a lot of shit going on. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of fucked up where we at. Hush street shit. That was trying to hold me down because God's got me. And it's like, he got me in his arms so tight. Yeah. I'm even an assistant coach. Yeah. For a football team, and I don't know shit about football. Damn, <laughs> nigga, you look like a football player though. Yeah. I was a game banger. Okay, but they say I was like I don't know nothing about football. But they say, but you know about the field. There you go. And you know, and these kids, you know, they gravitate to us. You bring that fuck to out mentality. There you mm-hmm. go. And I was like, you know what? It makes sense because they heard me saying to them like. Come on now, now y'all say that for the ops now. Y'all in the same gang now. Yeah, yeah. Ain't no, ain't no fighting now. You say that now. Mm-hmm, yeah. And so it's like the kids, like, they say, man, man, what you want me to do, coach? And look up at the man, bro. It melts my fucking heart. I don't even be knowing what to tell him. Mm-hmm. Right. What you want me to do, coach? I, whatever Coach Hawk tells you to do, <laughs> that's what you do. <laughs> when you're here, Yes, coach. So what? Hey, so what age group do you coach? Um, my son is twelve years, but I'm all over that place. I'm talking about the and I love the baby talking. Okay, like, okay. Yeah. coach, coach, coach. Like they be fighting. With, Y'all in real tough baby joke. They want baby jokers. See them me. You gonna bring us some, uh, some suckers, coach? Yeah. Yeah. I'm on my way to uh, practice next day with my son. He, uh, we gotta stop off and peace. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I had to get them goddamn baby jokers. They're goddamn suckers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So have they have they started their season yet? Um, the 14U, um, 
They had a scrimmage game against Simeon. Okay. Okay. Ooh, and uh, they beat Simeon 31 to 7. We were smoking on that Simeon. What? Hey, man. Hey, that, Damn. Hey, that nigga graduated from Simeon, man. Yeah, that's my old alma mater. 31 is up. Those 14, you jokers looking guys. Because they were red and they were blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, like, yeah. It was, it was a blood crip gang thing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know? That's what's up. And, uh, man, but it was good sportsmanship. Like I was telling them, like, when mm-hmm. the kids got knocked down, I'm like, they don't clap it up for them so they'll get up. Hell yeah. You want them to, you want yeah. to knock them out of the game, not out of life. Right. You got right. to mm-hmm. have good sportsmanship. Yeah. And um, Coach Mack walked past and was like, man. Yeah. I like him. See, once he cleaned up that language, because at first I was. Yeah, you can't hold him. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That would be my problem. Yeah. That, that would be my problem. Yeah. Especially as a basketball coach. I know, like, look, man, I, I drill on y'all ass all in practice about free throws, using your hands. Oh, and we get in the game, bro, and you choke in the game. Yeah. Man, I'm going to be one of them coaches to call his ass to the sideline and get forehead to forehead with this nigga. <laughs> Like, nigga, you finna get out and give me 10 right now. You miss another layup. Get out there on that damn field. Quit playing with me. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I, I lose track of who all is here. You know yeah. what I mean? You might be talking to this man's son, his daddy in the oil. You know yeah. what I mean? So you got to really, like, check that shit. But as a coach, you be so in tune. But we're good coach, bad coach. Like, he's okay. Like, he's like, come on, get him. Come on, now, y'all. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I got you. I got you. And that works, though. Whatever yeah, way is effective. It's, it's, it's freaking working. It's yeah. Definitely, it's definitely freaking working. Whatever way is effective. It's definitely freaking working. It's working? Yeah. yeah. Um, Bub, what about you, man? How was your week, bro? Week was good, man. Um, can't complain, man. You know, shit. <sighs> this damn heat, man. I was walking the dog. I, I was like, shit. You know, and this nigga, he want to go outside. He black. I, I don't understand how he took this heat this time. That was like my only drawback from the man, week, we man. Walking my dog in this heat, but you know what? Other than that, man, like you say, I got my AC fixed. I got that man. charged up in the car. It was it was a little cool. That shit is. But important. you know how the first uh, the first like real cold winter uh-huh. checks you checks your temperature about your car. You know yeah. you supposed to got a couple things done that you didn't get done. So you know I ain't I ain't had my AC charged up. I knew last year it was just cold enough, but this year. That first hot day, let me know, bro. Get your ass over to the alley and holler at the guys. Let them put some AC in. There you go. So I got my shit ice cold now. So everything good, man. You know, hug out with the children today. Boy, that Day the babies something. daytime. So, oh, you know, man. it's always good to do that. Babies Sunday fun day. Everything. Yeah, Sunday fun day is they day. They know it too. So Yeah, yeah. my my shit be Saturdays, bro. Yeah, you Saturdays? Yeah, I'm 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 a Saturday. I'm the Saturday dad. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, my kids wake up early as fuck. <laughs> on Saturday, man, like, what we on, Dad? I'm like, God damn, yeah. I you can't, can't even sleep in, man. You can't, you can't do, shit. you can't do shit. And um, don't fuck up and tell them we doing something on Saturday. Oh, yeah. They really on you, yeah. Um, I do want to say this much, man. I'm, I'm, I'm excited, man. The playoffs started, man. Yeah, yeah shit for but sure. Playoffs. The playoffs. For playoffs. Sure, man. I'm happy about that shit. Uh, yeah. It was some good games I saw yesterday. Uh, Finally, we getting something good though. Bro. I feel like the NBA been kind of weak these past couple of years. It seemed like this year has been the most it. entertaining year. They doing it. And this motherfucking uh, Knicks and Hawks games off the chain, too. Yes. Yo, we're going to take a break real quick, and we're coming right back. And we're going to get back to this interview with my man, Mac Mecca, the track wrecker. Uh, Mac Mecca, boom, my head. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all boom, boom, boom. Uh, uh, go ahead. Hey, clap. Hell, man. Yo, it's the Shits Podcast. Let me come right back. It's the Shits. It is the Shits. Coming to the Shits Podcast every Friday at 9 a.m. on The Block Radio. That's www.theblock105.com. It's the Shits. Yo, we are back at the Shits Podcast. We are kicking it with my man, Mac Mecca, track record. We're going to get into some, uh, to some, to some shit, man. Chicago's on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, Matt. Yes, sir. What side of the city you from, bro? Uh, originally near the north side of Chicago, Cabrini Green, Nova Square. Then migrated to the west side of Chicago. Mm-hmm. You know, that's uh, my playground. Where, um, man, where uh, we became legends. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Real shit. Yeah. Okay, so... 
I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. I just checked out the uh, the Robin Hood's movie today. Oh, I just checked it out today, and I was just telling uh, telling Decker. I wrote that in jail. Yeah. I was just telling Decker, man. I think to me, that shit should be like a Chicago cult classic, bro. Real shit. But you know what? My mom bought it bootleg of Madison and Pulaski, so in my bucket is it's like. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck up. Yeah. You, that's my son, little movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's all I ever wanted was her validation. Yeah. God damn it. She bought it, and, and you know, it was a proud moment, man. It should have been, bro. It, it should have been. It should have been. A proud moment. And yeah, man. It should have been. So you said you you said you wrote that when you was locked up? Yes. Okay, how long did it take you to write it? Um, I wrote an outline. It was all outline. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Outline. Scribble, scrabble. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. 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 That's yeah. what's up. So, what 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 made you get into not just writing movies, but actually producing movies? Um, because you know what, I saw the game going left. It's like I'm a lyricist, and I used to rap my heart out, mm-hmm. rap my heart out, and get like a thousand views, fifteen hundred views. Okay. And so I started seeing Chief Keep coming in. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know the uh, the. Uh, uh, Lil J's and the, yeah. you know the um, yeah. you know uh, at BG Ducks and the, it becoming a, a young nigga sport okay. right and so I'm right. like man I, I gotta do something yeah. I refuse to be the old bitter rapper yeah I, I refuse God damn, to be man, a, get that man's like, son man God, get that man's man. son <laughs> my man, I knew I liked him I knew I liked him yeah, that's real talk, right? I refuse there. to be old, been a rapper just like I refuse to be Papa Lord in jail. So mm-hmm. okay, like, I gotta do something. Okay, and so that's why I wanted to switch the game like that. that well, that's bro. Man. I I, I give that's you genius. A, I, I give you a credit for it. On the wall. So let me ask you this, bro. What do you think? What do you think makes the old bit of rapper? Looking at the young successful rapper. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hit me. <laughs> Man. They don't have they didn't have the opportunity or the money. When they had the opportunity, the money wasn't there for man, them. Bro. For yeah, actual man, skill man, set. Bro. See, people like what you just said, you wrapped your heart out, right? Yeah. For for a lot of rappers that are forty to like thirty. When they was really you know, doing down, this right? shit, like, you know what I mean? Like that's that's what you would call the like, older rappers, right? Right. Yeah. So the, in that era, like skill, you got to understand that's a different mindset and time frame from right now. Right now is the dumbed down generation. Like you can't, you can't. It's mumble rap. It's all kind of things. Too dumb down. Like right. So that's why you said you got to phase out of this shit. It's like I'm for those. Like I have no booty because I wrap my ass off. Okay. It's like <laughs> I don't know how to dumb it down. But you know, even though I was older rapping, what what made me not better is I got so much love from the younger rapper. Like, cause I was always the, the turnt one out of the clan. I was, but I was who everybody came to for drugs. Like, okay, you know, yeah, in charge of it. Okay, I was in charge. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I was like, I was like the little one, you know. So, so, uh, so speaking of the clan, sorry to cut you off. Speaking of the clan, won't you let the people know who which clan you are affiliated with? Killer clan up in here, you know how we get out. Okay, and the clan, uh, headed by Bo Deal, and um, you know, like too many to name with the rest, but just family, it's all family. Okay, and um, that's a fit. It was like as a high, it was like a super fucking gang, bro. Not to like work our gang, gang, but it was like we brought a lot of different sets and crews and gangs mm-hmm. together, and it was like a super gang, and it was like, oh man, we were fucking dangerous. We were fucking doing the day. We were doing the day. Was it, so we used to be younger, but like we were doing about okay. So so tell the people about when about when you say back in the days, like when like we what? talking nineties, nineties. Yeah, we was hardcore daddy back in my yeah. Hey, no, my ain't like my little boy. Early two thousand. <laughs> he he ain't come home from the joint. Early two thousand. I was in Chicago. I was in college. He was um uh, he came home in two thousand four. Okay. We uh, started up around 2005 and like really like hit the ground running when he uh, went on 106 Park. Okay. Like 2006. And uh, yeah, it was. So, 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 so when did y'all do the, uh, the, the movie? The, uh... Oh, 
I did that. We dropped that in 2016. See, by then I had once the joint came okay. on. I was, you know, I was kind of like, I was still doing the music only, you know, because I was going to back him up. I started with him. Yeah. With him. There you go. My heart was on the motherfucker. Real shit. Was on the movies. I'm like, I saw my stuff. Let me give a shout out to I have to yeah. shout out. Mark Alonzo, he gave me my first star in a uh, 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 web series called Block Diaries. My, I had four lines. Four on his money. Uh, <laughs> Hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Four on his money. <laughs> Boom. Came in that motherfucker in slow motion. Yeah. Had broke up to the left. Slow motion. Come in. Four on his money. <laughs> Boom. Knock him out the motherfucking chair. And then that was my scene, bro. And when I saw that shit, I said, oh, my God. I that was it. That, that was it. That was it. hit the switch. All the comments like motherfuckers went to high school with you. Bro, yeah. that's a little dang for real. Woo. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Just them four words. I'm like, yeah. Man, I could do this. Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah. That light bulb went off, man. And yeah. there's something about that Bo shit, man. Bo on his money. If they didn't know they would have said Bo on his cash, I don't know how to do it. I feel like we should put that shit in the sound bank, bro. Like, Bo on his money, yeah. Bo on his money. <laughs> <laughs> that shit in the motherfucking bathroom. <laughs> like, Man, shit, you weren't fucking that up. <laughs> yeah. So, so you went. All right. So, just say you had you had them four lines. With them, 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 well, I guess four lines. I guess four lines. But, but you developed a whole script, bro. With the Robin Hood's movie, you developed a whole fucking script. So, h- how difficult was that? I was a character in real life. I always been a character. Okay. Well. well they all like when I was when I was younger for it was a, a, like 13, 14, 15. Okay. I was getting so much shit. I never <laughs> had a chance to really have a personality. My personality was game bang and I was always in the defensive. But once I started to like, you know, clear up and, you know, like smile and laugh and yeah. be able to crack a joke. Yeah. I I was a character. Yeah. I was always in character. So yeah. It was it was easy. It was an easy transition. And when I was younger, um, yeah, my, my auntie had a drama club at a uh, church in Cabrini Green. Okay. And so I used to like as a kid, like I used to like do little drama, little stuff. Like, yeah. He had these MC Hammer pants. So ah, like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> we was just talking about Hammer. Was you a dancer hey, too? No, I just had you just had the style. So, my mom with the with the with the uh, patent leather joint shoes. Come hey, on, man. man. Hey, man. hey, bro, I gotta be all the with chicks. You. If you had them, hey, I gotta be honest with you, bro. If you had the if you had the hammer pants, you might as well have been a dancer, though, bro. No, no. Nah. Everybody in my pants, church bro. had them hammer pants. On. Everybody <laughs> in my church was poor. I had a box. Yeah, the hat top fan. You had a yeah. box. Yes, the hat top box. joint. Now was your shit curly or was no, it? Like, bro, it wasn't wavy. You had the real hat top, nigga. I was not. My street saga is not your typical, like, I was really not, I was kind of like thrown to the wolves, like, on some other shit. Mm-hmm. It just kind of like was real, real good at it. But I was really like a few hours as a kid. I read really yeah. a lot of kids. I was, you know, real nurturing and shit like that. I wasn't, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, I wasn't like that. So, yeah, I had the Hammer fans. I wasn't no tough ass, you know? Yeah. 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 Like that. Okay, okay. Yo, we're going to take a break real quick. Then we're going to come back, man. We talked to my man, Mac Mecca. Yo, yo, for anybody out there who have not seen the movie Robin Hoods, go get that shit. It's on motherfucking YouTube. I'm telling y'all, it is a motherfucking Chicago cult classic. Real shit. We're going to get back into it when we come back. Yo, it's the Shits Podcast. It's the Shits. Yo. It's your boy, Jill Desserts. I fucks with the Shits Podcast. It's the Shits. We are back. At the Shits Podcast, we are talking to Mac Mecca. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Chicago legend, Chicago yes, phenomenon. All right, so I hate to keep going back to, to to Robin, but like I said, dude, I really feel like motherfuckers should really, really get in tune with that movie because. Is 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 it's it's some Chicago shit. Like when people start, you know what I'm saying, when people start talking about Chicago shit, this movie is some Chicago shit. Real yeah. shit, real talk. And, uh, not only was it some Chicago shit, I'm gonna give y'all a little bit of Chicago history. Okay. Well not well, Chicago history, but like, like my little Chicago history. Um it was kinda like I came up under a stick up crew, like like we sold drugs with like they 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 were older than me, but they were mostly like a 
stick up crew. Like, okay. did a lot of, lot of robbing. Mm-hmm. A lot of fucking robbing. You know what I'm saying? So, it was kind of like, not all the way based on the true story, but based on true events. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. A lot of, yeah. Like, true events and shit. So, it's like, that's where I kind of got, get the, um, the, you know, the, the, uh, the idea from, because we did a lot of robbing and stuff. Okay. But then, we started selling drugs because it was like, like after a while, I was like, I don't, I don't really want to take from nobody. Right. Selling drugs, it's like, it's easier, it's fun, it's like, you know what I'm Yeah, saying? it's a rush, you know? it's a rush. And then, and then it's like, it's like cool, you know, you don't have to take anything from nobody. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. It's the hustle. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's the hustle. Like, yeah, like, what I what only thing that 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 the 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 most troubling part about a thief is that it's no honor amongst a thieves. Dirty thief. I guess nothing worse. Than nothing a worse. Thief. Nothing worse than a thief, bro. Like like it's my I'm still looking for the bitch who stole my virginity. Right. Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> I was thirteen. <laughs> Damn. Oh, that bitch break me. Yeah, she raped you. You gotta put. You gotta Bill Cosby your ass. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. So, so how how old were you? And how old was she? I was thirteen. And how old was she? Twenty four. Oh, I actually and was so crazy. <coughs> Damn. I did not have. It was a while before I had sex with a girl my age. They didn't like me. Like they used to call me Dirty Day. Like I used to wear the hoodies. My swag was gang bang. Yeah. And I, it was like I used to be out there kicked out the house a lot, and so I be. In the, in the streets, I'm an older woman or whatever. I I do whatever with her for a ride to the building. To oh, go house, yeah. Go to be Ask, cash, or cash. Look, 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 it's, it's no secret. This is no. This is common knowledge. Everybody knows I'm the crybaby savage of the fucking west side. Do that to your ass and cry. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I'm, you know, that's mm-hmm. me. But um, it's like all all night. No 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 phones or anything. I sleep wherever I could and just cry myself. You know what I'm saying? Wow. So I I would do anything. Like and looking back, I could have robbed them bitch. Bitch, give me your car. Cause I have a pipe on me. Right. I'd go all the way, you know, have her drive all the way up north. And then um uh Nick. uh ring the doorbell, tailbone, leave the door locked, I'll be back, I'm feeling hit the check. Right. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I thought yeah. I wanted to. Like I told him later on when I'm grown, like no. Right. Oh. Right. Yeah. But all the bitches raping me. Y'all, y'all from riding bitches. Damn. All y'all ass. Damn, that's right. <laughs> Fuck, 24 and you was 13? 13. Damn, Damn That was the youngest one. Like, most of them were like 35. Damn. 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 It was creepy. Like, bitches like, don't mama know you out here? I'm like, she don't care. Come here. I be your mom. You creepy oh, ass. Damn. Oh, shit. I enjoy none of it. Damn. You, you say you didn't? Not with them. Oh, damn. damn. Them bitches was ugly? They was. He just saying average. under the circumstance. Like, oh, under the circumstance. Bad, like, 40 euro pussy, 40 dollar pussy, same category. Yeah. Hit that thing for me one time. Hit that thing for me one time. <laughs> hey man, that is a quote. Forty yo pussy and forty dollar pussy is the same thing. Straight up, man, some people may disagree. There's no value in forty yo pussy. I went to Lane Stop, Tech, bro. Up. Stop. I went to Lane Tech, bro. I would have rather had that sophomore. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, bro. Hold Max, on. tell him again. It's no value in forty yo pussy. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it's been nutted in already, right, Matt? Oh, what the fuck? Bro, that's my favorite line. It's been nutted in. <laughs> Ain't like, nothing special like about it you. Was like, it was like work for me. I'm like, I'm just fulfilling my obligation. Yeah. So get upstairs. Let me get this sandwich. You trying to get the sandwich or something? You just trying to get. You just trying to get your ride. Yeah, whatever. You know, you get your tools and fuse and shit, man. That shit. <laughs> but that shit crazy. Like you say that creepy shit, man. Like so, you can kind of imagine. What what the what the fake what the females is going through? You know what I mean? If you <laughs> with the forty year old niggas, let me just say this. Let me just say this. When I was like thirteen and fourteen, I didn't look seventeen. I looked at like twelve. Like nigga, I looked at like a kid. Yo, age. so you yeah. look young? What? My nigga was little day. So these bitches on some R. Kelly shit. Man, these bitches were the devil. <laughs> Fuck. Straight up. Fuck. That's wild. Fuck. 
I'll kill one of them boys if they have my son. My son, he, but he, he'll never have no type of I'll kill him. Wow. Next subject. <laughs> yeah, you gotta jump off that. Okay, we gotta jump off that. So, all right, so I noticed, man, y'all had Waka Flocka. That's my boy. Bo Deal. That's my brother. Uh, Prince Fort. Butter the Prince. Oh, yeah, that, that's my five. That's my five. All in that movie, Joe. I'm watching. I'm like, God damn. <laughs> if you hang around heavies, you will be an elephant. Hit that thing. Oh, <laughs> damn. Yes. Yeah. Hold on, bro. Say it again. Say it again. If you hang around heavies, you will be an elephant. Yeah. That is. You heard Drop it first. Juice. You heard it first. Anyway, so, all right. So, you said... So you wrote the script. You wrote the script when you was locked up, right? So let me ask you this. Do you believe you have been as vulnerable as possible with your writing? Like, you put it all into your writing. Have you seen Little Boy Blue? I haven't, but that's what we're good. Well, we can't even talk. You can't even, you can't even talk to me, you know? <laughs> Ha, this dude, you so, boy! <laughs> boy! Whoa, whoa. Look, all, all I'm going to tell you is this, okay? Um... I have two more movies on there that are over a million views. And um, one of them is Little Boy Blue, which is based on a childhood friend from Green Green and Snuggles. Okay. And, um, you got a part one and part two. I have a part one and a part two. Okay, we're going to talk about that. Yeah, um, but yes, um, it actually was originally a, 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 a essay for, um, for creative writing. My teacher was Don Damn. West... Donda West? Get out of here. Kanye West mama? Hey man, I'm about to hit this man with a jewel and a... Yeah. Hey. Hey. I wrote it all in poetry for him. I didn't think, you know, I was just, I was just high. Yeah. Release it, yeah. And I wrote it poetry for him and she loved it. She loved it. Bro, so you mean to tell me Kanye's mother Read Joe's shit before anybody. Yes. Submitted it. Wow, bro. Submitted it in a uh, nationwide competition. I won an honorable mention from Chicago State. Damn. At what age? 17. Damn. Yes, sir. Big moves. Big moves. Big you was an elephant at 17. That was a big deal. That was a this big motherfucker. You was an elephant at 17. Big deal. Yeah. It was a big deal. Man, congr- man, congratulations, yes, man. Yes, sir. So, all right. So, tell the people about Lil Boy Blue. Little boy, blue. Um, like I said, it was based on a childhood friend of mine from Korean Grand Snuggles, and then it was also like uh, uh, one one uh, one of my partner's nephew. His name is Dinky. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. All Central and Lake. I kind of like blended. Okay. Some of the characters. And uh, my son used to see people stopping me about the Robin Hood. Like, oh man, I just watched your movie and ooh, let me take a picture with you. Yeah, they should. Bro. I want a movie. And so he wanted me to make him a movie, and that's when it hit me. Your son wanted him to make him a movie. Yeah. Hey, hey bro. Yeah. Hey, bro, let me tell you something, man. Yes. That's dope. Yes, and what's crazy before that, my son, because it was, like, real crazy, and unfortunately, my son saw a lot more than he should have at an early age. My son was, like, fascinated by gang banging it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. real, and all that shit. Yeah. And so... When he wanted us to do that, he was like, yes. He was like, man, some positive. Like, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yo, we're going to come right back, man. We're going to get back into it, man, because we want to get more in tune with this little boy, Blue, because we want y'all to know about it. Uh, we here with my man, Mac Mecca. Yo, this man's story is phenomenal, man, for real. Like, The movie was so deep that uh, one, of his, 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 one of my son's teachers thought it was real. Called DCFS. Wow. DCFS trying to take my son. God what? damn it! Hey man, damn, it's a movie, not a documentary. It's not a, exactly. <laughs> hey man, we're gonna be back, man. It's, all, it's, it's the shits, man. It's the shits. That's wild. For all erotic needs and adult needs, hit up Cold Pleasures. C O L E Pleasures dot com. That's www. C O L E Pleasures dot com. It's the shits. We are back at the shits podcast. We are talking to Mac Mecca. Hey, yo, y'all, let me tell y'all something. This man has 
is responsible for creating the Chicago cult classic Robin Hood. He's also responsible for creating some 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 touching shit. Yeah. Little Boy Blue, part one and part two. And this man submitted his work to Donda West. She, I mean, come on, man. Was, hey, the, the whole, bro, hey, bro. Filmed, all filmed on the most dangerous block on the west side of Chicago. Mm. Central Lake. Use everybody from Central Lake. Wow. Use the kids. Mm. What up, Ramsey? Because um, a beloved member of, um, from over there, he got killed. And he was like, it just broke the block hard. Yeah. And I wanted to, like, bring everybody together. And so, yeah. we, we did that for him. But, yeah. So, so, so what challenges... What challenges have you faced now with putting out Little Boy Blue Part One and Part Two? Um, the first one was the DCFS thing. Okay. Damn. But, um, but of course the teacher is an idiot. <laughs> tell the DCFS, but of course, why, why would I put him in the middle of a shootout? It's called special effects, fucking dickhead. Right. You know Goofy saying? motherfucker. What the fuck is you talking about? <laughs> Come on, man. But anyway, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And so we got rid we we got through that. Okay. And um but part two, it's like, okay, by me using that hood as a backdrop, I kinda like use that area and it's like one of the most hated blocks on the west side. Okay. So me using my son to play that role, Ooh. it's kinda like I'm kinda like attaching him to um an affiliation that, you know, that's not, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it, it, yeah, know, yeah, that's what you're saying. And, and um, he would have been attached to it by family, and he's not like that. Like, he plays football. He's a great kid, you know what I'm saying now? He, he plays football, and um, and he, he plays the game. Fuck yeah, you. Like, yeah. He plays the game, and he's, in the, he's, he's, he's he, he ain't no punk, but he could play the role, but he's nothing like the character. Right. And so I don't want people to think that that's who he is. Yeah, and right. Really, oh, that's one of them niggas, because, you know? Yeah. And, and that's the only thing that um that that, that I don't like about it. So it, it, it makes me think about the saying, uh, be careful what you ask for. Um, mm. Be careful what you ask for, you just might get it. Because you said, your son said, I want a movie. You know what I'm saying? And, and you got him that movie. But now it's kind of like, what he has to deal with with being in that yeah, movie because it's, it's generations of hate yeah. in that area, like generations like of hate. Yeah, and that's what, when I was doing it, I wanted to kind of like break down the psychology of the so-called savage before. Man, because, come on, bro, speak on that shit, man. It's like, speak on that shit. Nature versus nurturing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If I love this not, motherfucker, bro. You're, you're not giving your three square meals a day. If you're not giving the the, the, the warm cold, the, like it's kids over there in hoodies in December, and, yeah. and I watch them, and, and you see, you watch a good kid turn into a, a savage. savage, like, yeah. like you know what I'm saying? That's what they're making. Yeah, that's what that's that's what Man, that I, like that's what this that's what this system is designed to make. It's designed to and produce that's what savages. I want to show. Monkey see, monkey do. God damn, mm -hmm. bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so, in the midst of me doing that, I, you know, I wanted it to be real. And he has a, he has kind of like a, a, a relationship with, with guys over there. So it's real, real natural. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm thinking, okay, it'll work. But the, it's like, there are no actors. The loose square woman, shout out, shout out, yeah. uh, shout out Bernice. Uh, right. Plays the loose square one. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The shooters play the shooters. That's the only fucking thing, you know, about that type of shit. And so you. You said the shooters play the shooters. The shooters play the shooters. The trappers play the trappers. God, yeah. You know, the only one that's actually playing a role in there is my son. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Wow. 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 He has, he has a loving. Mother and a loving father, but it's like it's in his bloodline. Okay, and that could see that could be him. If something happens, yep. to me, ah, this is about to say what keeps me on my toes because, like, man, bro, yeah. I think honestly, man, I I think that's that's a commendable thing because you look at a situation and you think about how you came up and you feel like I don't want to put him through the same thing. You know what I'm saying? And then you turn around and you make a movie that shows what could happen if you put him through the same thing. 
That shit is fucking genius, bro. Man. That shit is genius, man. I got it, man, bro. I, 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 yeah, give, I give you your kudos, man. Yeah, that shit. I don't, I, don't, I don't like people to judge because they so quick to wipe the youth off. I work mm-hmm. with the Institute of Nonviolence and um, as a peacekeeper. And I'm over there and uh, it's uh, it's fold over there. I'm watching the same vice lord. Right. But it's kind of like family, family shit. Mm-hmm. Like, um, uh, the guy who runs the joint, I used to run with his, with his uncle. Okay. And so it's like, you know, it's... Respect, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, it, it get deep. And so, um, they all, man, they, they listen to that dude, man. They do whatever he say, man. How do you get them to do whatever you say? Respect. Like, Respect. I asked him nicely. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and then like respect, man. Like, but see, sometimes I'll trick them. Like, I'm gonna get fired if they don't. don't yeah, come, man, come on, look, please, man. Look, my supervisor riding around, man. Come on, y'all, man. Think I'm gonna lose a job, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, y'all, y'all gonna get back. Up. Come on, we'll get them come together, yeah. Oh, man, thank you, bro. Ain't no supervisor riding around, like right, bro. right, <laughs> right. Come on, y'all, for me, man right, control. Right. And right, then, and then you know it's like you, you the best way a walk when you talk with me. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you, you don't don't always come at somebody in front of everybody else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get the yeah, one yeah, who everybody right. lift. Come yeah. on, walk with me. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you get him on the same page. Yeah. It'll trickle yeah, down effect. Hey, God damn. Hit that Jew. Hit that Jew. Hit that Jew. You lay on Jew. I gotta get in here, man. Uh, 2021. You in the streets. If you got any solutions on what needs to happen to bring this shit around, I'm not going to ask you what needs to happen. You in the streets. You know more than anybody what needs to happen. What do you see that can happen that can turn this shit around right now where we at? What can turn it around is money. Reparations. Money. Money makes you a little less violent. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You yeah. get that twin game. Uh, like, man, man, the Oxford Hoes. Like, yeah. you, you might like, yeah. you broke. Come on, Let's go. Bro. Let's go. We, we gone. We gone. Tonight, bro. We gone. Man, we slide. We but broke. We ain't got nothing to lose. Man, look, they broke ass, bro. Hey, what's the way you're on? Call her back. Like, yeah. You got money. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And then cold weather. Hey, like, remember we had that blizzard? Mm hmm. <laughs> I tried to do a drill. That motherfucker bullet went out and froze. What you <laughs> <laughs> Man. You know, cold weather, man. Okay. All right, so let me... Okay, so you, you said you really don't find actors. You just I get, just use regular people. Use regular people. Because you want their personality... Yeah, to come out. And let them do a lot of improv. Like, you give them pretty much a, a, a prison... A, 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 kind of like a sadasis or what you want them to say. Mm-hmm. Let them put their own sauce on it. So it doesn't sound robotic. Right. That's good. Yeah. That's and then good. you like, hey, oh, phone them great. <laughs> they said Buddy was going No 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 No, no you, you need a motherfucker You ain't even from Chicago Kenny. bro Get your ass up out of here What the fuck you talking about <laughs> Fuck y'all get this goof ass nigga Fuck <laughs> now, now you finna get Everybody Everybody Oh Who the fuck is this bro <laughs> Man man you, you, Who the fuck is it We need to stand here <laughs> <laughs> Like with Spike Lee had Like uh Nick Cannon And all them old Oh man, Doing I'm shot right Nobody, yeah. nobody say shorty. You gotta at least have nobody say shorty. Yeah. Like, like, you gotta. It's up Chicago, it. yeah. I ain't it's like busting out here, yeah. boy. Busting. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, it's like you, you wanna you wanna make it as um authentic as possible. Authentic as possible. That's right. Okay. So let me ask you this, bro. Since you since since you a cat that's uh that's that that's in the movies. Not only did you star in your own movie, but you 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 did the script. Let me ask you this. To you. What is the difference between a Tyler Perry movie and a Spike Lee movie? Um, Tyler Perry is gonna have a lot of wigs, like a lot of guys with fake braids. Okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna look. I'm not look. I like both of them. Okay. I like both of them, but um, uh, the braids. That's the difference. The braids, fake braids. Okay, it's the it's it's the look, it's the image. Yeah, it's the image. Okay, 
For sure. Hey, yo, we're going to take a break real quick, and we're going to come right back, and we're going to wrap up this interview with my man, Mac Mecca, yo. the track record. Yo, y'all heard my man. Hey, my man got a, a phenomenal story, man. For Y'all need to get in tune with him. For real, for real. It's the shits. Fridays, 9 a.m. Catch us at www.theblock105. It's the shits. We coming through. We are back at the shits podcast. Well, we got to shooting the shit, starting some shit. I'm picking up the shit left off. Baby. Yo. Yerk. All Yo. right, man. We out here kicking it with Mac Mecca, Chicago legend. Hey, I need to find my man. He doing big shit, legendary shit. All right, so I got a question for you. This, yes, this, this, this is, this is going to be my last question before we get into the first of all. Let's go. So let me ask you this. What's a question that you think? Could change your life. Um, how much would it cost for you to open up a state of the heart? Um, kind of like a school slash safe haven for the streets of Austin and where all type of arts are um well what the arts are taught where you know and broken up in different types of things like painting there we go um, uh music a place music, for the production. basically a place for the youth yeah, yeah. stuff yeah. like that and um different shit like that and broke off in sections to where you wouldn't have to have certain neighborhoods around certain neighborhoods and it would just be safe and, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying yeah and to me if I could change the lives of that community it would change my life Cause to me it's all about service too I, I, I want some money don't get me wrong man. I want some money. right 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 that's gonna come anyway uh, yeah that's gonna I, come I wanna, I, wanna, I wanna make a change of like yeah that's gonna come that's gonna, gonna come, come regardless that's yeah. gonna come regardless my dude as long as you're doing something you love Money always follows what you what you do in life. You know what I mean. And as yes, long sir. as you're doing good works, you know what I mean. Good shit go happen. You know what I mean. So, you know, all you gotta do is just keep doing what you doing, bro. You doing you doing phenomenal shit. You doing man. some phenomenal shit, my dude. And uh, my that mom, shit ain't to be taken lightly. Like, they did a. Uh, she bought your shit, dude. She yeah, bought your shit. And they did a. Uh, and, and they did, um, they did an editorial about me. Um, That's what's up. Peacekeeping, and I actually fought off. The writers for 48 straight hours. That's what's um, up, man. Like, um, that's that Central Lake. Like, that, like, it's now, everybody's like, Central Lake was untouched. But the police actually um had me, let me have a no search order for four blocks so I could defend the um neighborhood. Thanks. And I'm a 36 page fellow, so it's like that was real over here. Hey, bro. Hey. I commend you, bro. I so I'm pulling up, right? So my, my mom comes from the liquor store where I'm out there. And so she pulls up and like, Did you know your son's a superhero? <laughs> <laughs> well, like, man, this is like, I'm the fuck up, right? Yeah, yeah. Man, man, like, so this is everything to me, like, that, 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 you know? Yeah. My mom is everything. And even before that, I became a fuck up favorite because I was always on point when doctor appointments because I sold drugs. I was a loser. So, of course, I can make it for you. I got to send a couple. Okay. Yeah. I'm on point for everything. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I was like, you got thighs and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was on point. But, you know, but yeah, that, that right there, that moment right there when she smiled like, you know your son's a super That's girl. beautiful, bro. That's beautiful. Everything. Yeah, that's dope. Everything. All right, so we got this thing, man, that we call First of All. Let's go. So basically what it is, man, we're going to ask you a question. First thing come to your mind, bro, first thing come to your mind, just answer it. You know what I'm saying? And you got 40 seconds, all right? It ain't even hard, bro. Let's go. You ready? Yeah. Quickest way to get famous. (laughs) Quickest way to get famous? Yeah. God damn it, this. All the ops in Chicago. Quickest way to get evicted. This all the ops in Chicago. Quickest way to get chosen the club. Actually, coming that bitch with like six bitches like I do. 
<laughs> oh, dang, look, hold on. This is oh, oh, shit. Oh, hold on, hold on. We got one more question. Have any questions? One more, one more. Oh, you fucked up. Quickest, way to, quickest way to steal from Target. Worst thing you can be is a dirty teeth. Don't steal me. Don't do that. Oh. I tell you, Rob, I'm going to base on a true story, boy. Hey yo, <laughs> hey man, that was my man Mac Mecca, the track record doing the first of all. <laughs> Dirty T, he said coming to club with how many bitches, bro? About six. Six coming. That's the quickest way to get shows. Coming to club with six bitches, you know. What because I'm saying? my my sister, shout out Cassie Brown. She is the shit, and she's got a. She gonna cuff the seven. The seven gonna follow. Oh, oh, okay. okay. All right then, my hey. Sister, Bad We're gonna take a break real quick and we come right back. And my man Bubba Ball gonna hit y'all with the underlay for the Yo. overplay, y'all. It's the Shits Podcast. It's the Shit. Block 105 Radio. Tune in every Friday at 9 a.m. www.theblock105.com. Yeah, 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 yeah. We are back at the Shits Podcast. We are talking to Mac Mecca. Hey, yo, let me tell y'all something. I'm gonna drop some names on y'all real quick. And I want y'all to be, I want y'all to pay attention when I drop these names on y'all. Robin Hoods, Little Boy Blue, one, and Little Boy, and Little, hold on, fall. Okay. <laughs> little Boy Blue, one, and Little Boy Blue, two. And Pippin' Ain't Easy, one, and Pippin' Ain't Easy, two, because he. Because it really, it really oh. easy. It's more, it's more. Oh, Pippin ain't more. easy. One and two? One and two, and they on YouTube. Now, where can, where can, where can everybody find this at? YouTube. YouTube? 1.5 million views, boy. What, what? Dude, hey, boy, look. How many shares that motherfucker had, boy? Look, well, let me take it all, boy. Boy, because I'm going to share the shares of that bitch, boy. I'm putting that bitch on Facebook boy. and Instagram, boy. What the fuck you talking about, boy? Y'all, 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 I just went west side with boy. this nigga real quick, boy. That's all we have to sleep on me, boy. <laughs> <laughs> but that was going to be the. Shout out to Decca because let me tell you something. Okay. Decca was the first, matter of fact, first real, real engineer I have a motherfucking recorded with. Let's get that out the way. Facts? And, yeah, facts. No he told, shit. I was rapping my ass off. I did not know how to count bars. Okay, okay. I'll so you would just run. What? <laughs> Decca. I was spinning 84. Mm. Damn. Then up. God damn. Then a 32. Damn. Then up. Then a 24. God damn. You done gave this man three, four songs. Didn't even know it. Didn't even know it. <laughs> but he, that could did that. That could did that. That could did that. Okay. And, um, I'm just going to drop some names for you, like real names. Okay. As far as um, part of my uh, illustrious life. Okay. Who's Faircom? Did security for him. Okay. When I was a member. <laughs> Of the new Black Panthers. Yeah. My man. Herb Kent. Ooh, rest oh. in peace. Legend. I was online with him to be Kappa Alpha Psi. Bro, but, quit playing, bro. Yes, but I kept on telling them I did not have the money. They no, it's okay. You can get it, you can get it, you can get it, whatever. Well, well, well. And um and so um I'm like I'm telling y'all I don't they don't worry about it just we gonna help you we gonna help you go and so I bought into it because it, at this time Bo was locked up sixteen of my guys locked up for drug um yeah. conspiracy yeah and so these are like positive black guys and like I'm around mm-hmm. like I'm really drinking a Kool Aid with this right and so um I end up asking my dad for the money but he didn't understand he looked at it like paying them to be their friend, like he didn't understand. So right. my mom, like, please, I've never seen him like this. Like, you know, he didn't understand. And so I, you know, of course I cried because they were gonna help me, but they was like, come back next semester. I knew it wasn't gonna happen. So it never yeah. happened, but I was right. online with Herb Kent, that was legendary. God damn. In his house. Yes, Herb Kent, Gucci Mane. I brought Gucci Mane to my trap house on Quincy and Lotus on the west side of Chicago. Damn. Just how I did that. Like I told you, I used to be in charge of getting everybody's drugs. So I purposely left his shit mm-hmm. at the cribs. We had to so go. he had to go. Oh, and you know he was going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. My baby 
baby mama before she had my son. I'm like, hey, bro, I'm finna bring Gucci man throughout. Oh, oh, hell. Yeah, yeah. Before about three months before yeah, that. Yeah, boy, yeah, 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 easy. Okay. In 16 hours. Another man. <laughs> yeah. With Bill. Oh, kick rest in peace. House. Rest in peace. Kick him out of my house. Wait, who? Bushwick Bill. You kicked him out your crib? Man, what happened, Bushwick man? Bushwick Bill out your crib. Okay. They had brought him over there. They told him we was going to smoke some weed for him. With him. They was going to smoke weed with him. And then he brought him to my house. And he, what are you bring me to this dump? Tell me you're going to smoke weed. Bring me to the dirty basement. Are you uh, serious? Yes. yes, he was drugged. Yes, they were just I said, look at him. It's only one little nigga that runs shit around here, and his name is Lion. And so my son walks up on him, like, size him up. Son, the same size as Bushwick. The same size as Bushwick. <laughs> Walk up on him, on some tough shit. Yeah. Bushwick Bill said, lend me your ear, I'll spin your tail. And so my son, like, like he listening, he waiting for the tail. And shit. I'm like, <laughs> man, get this nigga the fuck up out my house. Rest in peace. But get this nigga the fuck up out my house. Man, Tony, get yeah. the fuck out the gate. Real quick. Get the fuck out the gate. Get the fuck out my gate, son. Lorel. Oh, comedian. Oh, yeah. Beat him up in Chicago State. This nigga. <laughs> <laughs> How you and Lorel get into it, man? What the oh. fuck? <laughs> he said, Miss, Miss Whitfield sucked dick. I'm like, you apologize, Miss Whitfield. She's a very respectable woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh I shit! You did a little rail fam. Yes, I did. I used to idolize Coart. Yeah. So I had to, like the uh, Shirley Temple curls and shit. Yeah. And so I'm like, she's a very respectable woman. You're like, what you gonna do? It's like, man, you don't want me to come up there. He's like, <laughs> he learned. Ass up here. That's mm -hmm. what he said. Yes. That's what I did. I went up there. He put the hands on him. And he got ugly for him. Yeah. Yeah. But what's crazy is I did not go to jail uh, because they had put me in handcuffs. But then they were like, why the fuck did you um, fight the fucking comedian? And then I was like, man, he said, Miss Whitfield sucked dick. He said, Miss Whitfield. The girl was like, yeah. Yeah. They're like, why would he? You see, everybody loved Miss Whitfield. Yeah. Everybody yeah. I could tell. Yeah. I could tell. So she was he, a nice lady. Like, yeah. She was everything. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. And so he's like, come here. Yeah, like, they let you up. They knew they had David Penn and they should have had security anyway. Yeah. Because uh, like, yeah. I wasn't, the police didn't really like me up there. It Damn. Like, what? Bro, you should have, hey man. You yeah, should, you just ran down. You got it. You got it. No, but it wasn't my fault. Listen, listen, but let me tell you something about favor. Okay. Let me tell you something about favor. And, I, and this uh, uh, I ended up graduating. Okay. Favor. Right, okay? right, right. Okay, and remember that word, favor. Favor, yeah. Now, my first song um, when I, uh, when I went there to live on campus, uh, I was really excited. I see my uh, one of my homies from the back row, from uh, Kareem Green, Andre Day. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Shout out my boy. And so um, his girlfriend, well, his wife now, the rest of the day, uh, she was going there. I'm like, what you on, Lord? He like, he like, man, what you on? I'm like, boy, I go here, boy. He like. <laughs> Man, my girl go here. I'm like, I'm gonna go smoke. I'm with you, Lord. Boom, we go smoke. Now we we come back. The basketball team's getting drunk. A six foot seven uh shooting guard named Jay Paul from Harvey. Okay. Harvey named mm -hmm. Jay Paul. He's like, first nigga walk past me, I'm smacking the shit out of him. Oh now. Uh oh. Uh oh. Who do you think was the lucky recipient? You? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now like I told me and my boy, we're green. Yeah. Do a lot of fight. So okay? you, want, you want all the smoke. We do a lot of fight. And so he smacks me, and we. Fuck. Yeah, we got ugly. We got ugly. <laughs> it was six of them. Shout out Al Watts. Al Watts, Al Watts it was six of them, but only five was fighting us because Al Watts was trying to break it up because he was about this. Yeah. So me and him, we turned. So by the time. We by the time the police get there, we go, man, I'm fighting for I'll kill you bitches. We he like, come on, Lord. We go into the building, we grab a pipe, bro. We kill all the ass. Brick the ass, I'm talking about, we snap it. We snap it. Bitch ass, niggas, you got me, I'll kill y'all. We're going crazy. Mm -hmm. So, police put us in handcuffs. And so one of the girls say, no, it wasn't that freshman boy. It wasn't that freshman boy. 
It was the basketball player that, that, that put his hands on him. Mm -hmm. So they take us out of uh, a the handcuffs. Yeah, the handcuffs. They said, show us which one put his hands on him. And so I said, I'm looking dead at him off. No, I don't see that bitch ass nigga. Mm -hmm. See a hoe. You know I kill his ass. Damn. I kill his brick ass. Bitch ass nigga. Ha <laughs> I don't see him. See a hoe. Bice boy, he's a hoe. Now I'm in my mode. I'm a, at the time I'm spazzing. You want but to smoke. I'm the victim. Yeah, right. You want so, all the smoke. In in their mind, he's a troublemaker. He's a game banger. Mm -hmm. You know, talk about projects and runs. Yeah, and yeah. Cry on him. So I went from being a victim to being, you know, the, a problem. Yeah. Okay. So first song, um, fire drill. They had. Mm -hmm. He had a fire drill, and I had asthma, and so I left my inhaler upstairs. So they had us out there for a while, so I wheezing. They like. Hey, tell him, let you get your head up. I tap on the door. You let me get my head up. Woo, woo. Hey, stop knocking on the door. Please, I need my head up. They pull me in there, jump on me. And so, I fall back. So I fall 10 of them. Now I'm in the vestibule. My, uh, like 400 students watching me fighting these police. You know what I'm saying? Trying to get in there and help me. Yeah. Because, but they didn't like me, but to everyone else, they loved me. It was like they. Yeah. Yeah, I was yeah. like in the bottle to them. And so they end up locking me up. You know what I'm saying? And so that night, I'm thinking that my, my college career is over. So I cried all fucking night. Wow. <laughs> of course, I cried. That's why yeah, I, yeah. So I cried all night. I get out in the morning. 400 students from Chicago State outside wait on me. Damn. I cried again. Yeah. 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 yeah, I got jumped up. Hey, yo. So, we got to take a break real okay. quick. We come right back. Hey, back hey man, y'all hear what my man talking about. Hey, somebody out there, I know y'all hearing this man's story. Y'all need to come get in contact with him because he needs to have a documentary or something. Like, yeah. real shit. Yeah, he you know got to have his shit fam before he get up out of here. Real shit, y'all. It's the Shits Podcast. It's the shit. Fridays, 9 a.m. Catch us at www.theblock105. It's the shit. We coming Yo, we through. We are back at the shit's podcast. Hey, man, tonight has been a, a, a phenomenal fucking night. We've learned so much, man. Like, this man, my man, Mac Mecca, has a phenomenal story. Like I said, man, hey, y'all need to get in tune with my man. Check out his movies. They on YouTube. And just, just, just show, give my man his roses, man, while he here. Yeah, for sure, man. For um, sure. I'm gonna I'm pass the mic over to my man, Bubba Ball, and he about hit y'all with that underlay for the overplay. Yeah, man. So this week, man, you know, I, I did a lot of little research and this shit, and uh, you know, this is a podcast. So what's been heavy in the podcast world is Joe Budden, um, and how the show split up, him, Maul, and Rory, and all that. And I used to watch it. I was kind of like a fan of it, and. It's always three sides to a story. Yeah, it is. You know, it's your side. If you're the accuser or the victim, it's the victim side, and it's the truth, right? So when you when you only hear Joe Budden's side so long, and you finally got to hear Rory and Maul's side of the story, it gave you a different outlook on this person that's called Joe Budden. And when you look at his past, we had to come to some conclusion, right? Now, also, who was, you know, making some noise was Kwame Brown. And Kwame Brown wasn't that great of a player. I do remember him bouncing around on some teams. I do remember him making some hell of a plays on uh, L.A. I don't. You know, I remember him doing I some. some yeah, he dunked on a lot of motherfuckers. He did some shit to get his, to, to, to hey, Kwame Brown, I'm not, I'm not going to say he was a bust like everybody else do, but um, he did come out first round. As a teenager, as a baby, and should, for, for anybody that can come out of college and into the league and change their family life, I suggest that they do that. Yeah, I agree with you on yeah, that. I, I suggest that they do that. Um, Kevin Garnett was was placed in a vicarious position when he moved up here from wherever he moved. I don't want to misplace it. North Carolina or whatever. But when he came up here and, and, and was had that opportunity at Farragut, you know, he utilized that opportunity so much that we never heard anything bad about Lord Heaven. Lord ain't never did nothing bad. You, you ain't never heard nothing bad about Kevin Garnett. Kevin Garnett was one of the most honorable, respected people from Chicago. 
You know what I mean? And you never heard nothing bad about it. The point of me bringing these two gentlemen up is, is that the media has a way of portraying you in a bad light or a good light. Now, you can that's fuck true. up your own image. And I think that's what Joe Button has done. Joe Button has fucked up his own image to where when you look at his past, him as a recording artist, him as a member of Slaughterhouse, him on all these different uh, networks, with, with these shows, but he always has a tendency to walk away, you know, and run and leave people. And what I, I tend to come away with is that he really has no loyalty with his friends. Friends can open open a business and, and it doesn't ever have to come to blows. We don't have to disrespect each other. That's true. Us three can come in with $30,000 and open a fucking tire shop. And if I want to take my money out, y'all can buy me out. And we still cool. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. But the timing can be fucked up. And Matt could be salty about that. I got to live with that. Right. Because if y'all succeed without me, you ain't need me no motherfucking way. And That's I right. got to live with that also. You see what I'm saying? So it can never be any hate and malice in a grown man's heart. Can I shut out my partner with me? When you, when you make a decision as a friend, as a group of friends to go into business together. And I feel like when jealousy comes into play, that's something that, that is uh is unrepairable. And it's sad to see that, you know, that 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 podcast took that direction that it took. I also want to shout out Kwame Brown for uh being able just to speak his truth right now. You know, um a lot of things can be said from a person who said nothing. And if you notice what I said, if you just sit back and shut the fuck up. And listen to everything somebody's saying. You can tell who full of shit in the room. That's true. You know what I mean? So it's it's always funny. Um, I was in holding. Didn't make it on deck. But you know the process is long yeah. as a motherfucker. And we in the motherfucking cages. And I'm listening to a motherfucker talking about he got an old school. Yeah, I got an old school. I got an old school, man. And woo, 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 woo. I got... And, and, and some motherfucker that was older than me at the time asked him, what the fuck kind of old school you got? And you know what this nigga said? I got a 1993 bubblehead Chevy Caprice. Man, everybody in there over 35 fell the fuck out. Like, it, it was unreal that this nigga was calling a 93. And, and like, I ain't been locked up. This was 10 years ago. So he was calling a 93, a old school, in, like, 2011 or some shit. Mm -hmm. How the fuck is that an old school, my boy? But it just let me know the time frame that we in and what people will do to get attention. Mm -hmm. People will say shit out of their mouth. To get attention. But one thing people would not do is admit when they're wrong and they will not apologize. So to anybody under the sound of my voice, when you go publicly on Facebook, Instagram, any social media, and you shit on somebody and you know you're wrong, also go publicly and apologize for the people who come see your ass. That's true. Because you know you're wrong. And that's it. That's the underlay for the overplay. Because okay. it's a lot of wrongdoing being done out here. Nobody says anything about it. You know, to correct somebody has been shamed. You wrong for telling somebody yeah. you need to do this. You need you wrong. Who are Sometimes you to tell me? Man, fuck like that. more of a man and you get more respect. Apologize. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah, so, That's what real men do. Man. Tell them that. Okay, okay. I'm going to tell them this piece. Break it down. Break it down, this man. Another name I forgot about. Rahm Emanuel. I did a speech for the mayor about second chances, which got me off parole early. Damn. Rahm Come on, man. Come and on, man. Come on. Damn. I got my background, my 36 page background, printed out. And I got the I got the lighter and I set it on fire. I am not my background. <coughs> Damn. The beautiful thing about life, it gives you the reset button. There you go. Every day you wake up in the morning, you you, you get to start over. It's the beginning of the rest of your life. Make it count. You know That's what I'm right. And I was going to shout out to my partner right there. You know, I would not be where I'm at right now without that brother right there. He's been so much more than a partner, than a, ca than a cameraman. He's been a, he's a life coach. You know what I'm saying? A friend, a confidant, a motivator. You know what I'm saying? And this has been like a lot of shit. that threw hits out on me, all type of shit, crazy shit. Car take wouldn't even remember the shape when like Rob Ellis movies like kind of like turning into a real life. 
It's like shit's crazy. He's always been there. You know what I'm saying? And and I my loyalty to him. He did a um a video for me while I was on house arrest, taking care of my father. He had uh, colon cancer. And so um I didn't have the money to shoot a video. He reached out to me and did one for me. And he got there, I worked the shit out of him. And when he was leaving out, I said, man, you my man from now on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And sometimes when me and him get into it, I'm afraid. Yeah. Because, if, you know, to make it work, you have to be afraid to lose that other person. And I will, I will punk out. I will, look, 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 I'm going to catch up. You come on. That'll make you feel better? Like, hey, yeah. I'm afraid because our chemistry is great. Right. And if you have something good in your life, you got to keep be afraid yeah. to lose it. Be afraid. Be yeah. afraid to, be lose, afraid it, to lose it. That's true. Hey, it, ain't, it ain't nothing wrong with being afraid because it keeps you on your toes. You know, it's that fear that, that you can't walk around with day to day and day by day. You know what I mean? So you got to make shit right, man. That's all you're talking about. Making yeah. it right. Hey, make man. Right. Uh, I agree with you. Um, I believe chemistry is important. Uh, I believe that chemistry is is important so on so many on so many levels, whether it's a work relationship, whether it's a friendship, whether it's something more than a friendship, whether it's in between a friendship or something else. Chemistry is very very important, and the thing is, people don't understand that sometimes it's some shit that's so unwritten. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It's just something that you feel, and that's a beautiful feeling that you can have that connection with a person, and sometimes you don't even have to fucking say it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? To the point that they know when you pissed they off know. about something. They yeah. know when you on some petty shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, you know, they, they they know when you happy about something. They know what to say. And that's beautiful shit, man. And I feel like, look, a lot of motherfuckers that I'm still in tune with all these years, I have chemistry with. You get what I'm saying? Like I always tell people, this man right here, dude, we do this shit and we don't always agree on everything, but I understand where my man coming from. You get what I'm saying? Right. I feel like this like I love y'all chemistry so much. It's like I felt like I was a part of the team. <laughs> hey, bro, it's like, bro, it's it's just natural. Man, man. I appreciate it, bro. Man, it I mean, appreciate and it. The beautiful thing me. is, well, like, I'm not gonna um, but well, like, what was your first? Were you ever in the game? Were you ever in the game? Like, yeah, I, I used to be. Yeah. I used to be. Yeah. Yeah. Like, was it pinball or? Like... <laughs> no, no, it's a it's, it's not a. No, no. Reason. <laughs> Reason why I'm saying this? No. Nah. Yeah, I, I used to. I, I, went, I was a gangster. I, I used to be. Okay. Yeah. Well, my partner over here, against okay. And um, like back in the day, it was like I would not have fucked it with him at all. Like, yeah, I, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. yeah. My nickname was Mr. GK. It's a dumbass nickname. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> that's that's straight <laughs> to the point, my nigga. <laughs> like, it's not about Best friends in the world now, RGD. Yeah, you know yeah. What I'm saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and the friend Toy T, you little gang man. That's like, straight to the now. point. That's how yeah. it worked though. Like, Most of the people that you hate, or any real fucker to give you a reason to, to to hate them, it always come back full circle. Why you would not hate them? You know what yeah. I mean? You don't have a reason to hate nobody. None, man. none. Because <clears throat> once you become conscious. Can't go back to sleep. There you go. Once you oh. wake up, come on, man. Once you oh, wake up, man. bro. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Once you wake up, hey yo, we, we out of here, man. We get the signal, man. Yo, thanks to my man Mac Mecca. Appreciate you, through. bro. Hey man, y'all check out my man movies, Little Boy Blue Part One and Part Two. Y'all check out Robin Hoods. What's the other one you said? Pimpin ain't easy. Part One and Part Two. Oh, pa Pimpin ain't easy. Part One and Part Two. Hey man, and check out all my videos. Yeah, yeah. Pimpin. I don't think Pimpin is easy either. Um. So, uh, it definitely wasn't. I used to be a pimp back in the days. So, uh, <laughs> my mom made all my girls leave when I got locked up. God damn it. None of them are hooking now, too. Check it. Much love to my man, uh, Bubba Ball. Much love to my man, Decca Durs, Gorilla Glue, for making this shit happen. Much yeah. love to Chicago. Hey, look, y'all. Hey, man. Y'all fuck with us. We on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, all, all podcasting uh, platforms. YouTube. YouTube www.theshitspodcast.com and we got the shirts we got the hats all that shit man y'all fuck with us and yo once again thanks to our very special guest y'all check him out show him some love show him some support and we'll be back next week y'all it's the shit legendary show